In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also, and also with, with you. Welcome to those who are in our crypt chapel this morning, and also to those who are watching online. As we come together in the middle of a busy day, we meet in the name of our risen Lord, who knows our every need, who hears the cries of our hearts, who feels our deepest pains, and who heals our wounds. Amen. 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 In Christ Jesus, God's love is made fully known, and through Christ's passion and resurrection, we are healed and brought to new and abundant life. We now offer ourselves to God in faith, renewing our trust and confidence in his inexhaustible mercy. A moment of quiet as we bring to God all that needs healing and reconciling and forgiving this day. Lord of life, you are, you are tender towards your children, and your, your mercy is over all your works. Embrace us with your love, heal the memories of hurt and failure, bind up the wounds of past mistakes, and by your forgiveness make, make us whole. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you. Pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty Father, whose will is to restore all things in your beloved Son, the King of all, govern the hearts and minds of those in authority and bring the families of the nations divided and torn apart by the ravages of sin to be subject to his just and gentle rule who's alive and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god now and forever amen amen we sit for the readings Life. 
I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The Lord is my shepherd, therefore can I lack nothing. I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. He makes me lie down in green pastures and leads me beside still waters. I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. He shall refresh my soul and guide me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. You spread a table before me in the presence of those who trouble me. You have anointed my head with oil, and my cup run, shall run over. I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Surely, goodness and loving mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I will dwell, dwell in the, the house, house of, of the Lord, Lord forever. The Lord be with you. And also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to you, to you and Lord. Lord. On the way to Jerusalem, Jesus was going through the region between Samaria and Galilee. As he entered the village, ten lepers approached him. Keeping their distance, they called out, saying, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. When he saw them, he said to them, Go and show yourselves to the priests. And as they went, they were made clean. Then one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back, praising God with a loud voice. He prostrated himself at Jesus' feet and thanked him. But he was a Samaritan. Then Jesus asked, were not ten made clean? But the other nine, where are they? Was none of them found to return and give praise to God except this foreigner? Then he said to him, get up and go on your way. Your faith has made you well. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, praise to you, O Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. One of the wonderful things about being a Christian is that we are each made in the image of God with all our peculiarities and our particularities. As we grow up into Christ, we become more and more who we were originally meant to be, God's work of art, like no other. We're not designed to be clones or identical to each other, but gloriously unique to serve him. The particular insights and qualities that he's given us. As 1 Peter 4 puts it, like good stewards of the manifold grace of God, serve one another with whatever gift each of you has received. We're reminded in Romans 12 that the body of Christ has many members, and the members do not have the same function. Indeed, even our weaknesses and failings, when recognised, can contribute to the flourishing of the church. As St Paul so memorably said, I am content with weakness for the sake of Christ. For whenever I'm weak, then I'm strong. But there is something here about being authentically 
oneself. Today, the church commemorates a remarkable woman, Marjorie Kemp, mystic, writer, mother, and pilgrim, who was gloriously and eccentrically herself in Christ. Vegetarian, giving to loud weeping in church, dressing in white, obsessive in her speech on religious topics. A medieval historian, Joseph Lynch, sets the scene for Marjorie as follows. In the 1200s, a widespread hunger for religious experience spread. Devout lay people found parish life humdrum and spiritually undemanding. In unprecedented numbers, they began seeking a more intense religious life, whether married or single, and working in secular vacations. And these people gained a confidence in expressing their experience of the spiritual life, sometimes in the face of quite severe criticism from religious authorities who didn't know what to do with these strange people. This resulted in the flowering of the mystical life. In the same period as Marjorie Kemp, Julian of Norwich was living a very different kind of life as a hermit and anchorite, also experiencing mystical visions and also writing down her experiences. Marjorie Kemp was born in, born in 1373 in Norfolk from a comfortable background. She married merchant John Kemp, with whom she had 14 children, and in her 20s, she began having visions of Jesus, Mary, and the saints, and began a deeply devout life. She used to have conversations with them in her prayers. She became sought after as a visionary and was often very outspoken about what she perceived as the failing of priests and bishops. She went on pilgrimages all over Europe and the Holy Land, often setting out penniless. Despite her lack of education, her experiences were written down in her 60s, entitled The Book of Marjorie Kemp. She was indeed gloriously, unapologetically and uniquely herself in Christ. So today, as we bring our whole selves to God in this service. Let us rejoice that we are wonderfully and fearfully made. Let us thank him for our gifts, for our functions in the church, and for our weaknesses. Like Marjorie Krim, let us allow our devotion to Jesus to grow. And may each one of us every day become a little more the people that we are destined to be in the fullness of Christ. Amen. Amen. Let us pray for the church and for the world and let us thank God for the goodness. We thank you for this time in the middle of a day to come to you in worship, bringing our whole selves complicated, glorious, made in your image. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We thank you for all whose work is healing and wholeness. And we pray for all that will happen in this church today. For those who are coming to see the doctor, for those coming for therapy, for those bringing loved ones and their cells for healing, pray 
for those working around in our parish and beyond, in the hospitals and clinics. Bless the work of all who would seek to bring wholeness and healing in mind, body, or spirit. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for our young people, for our junior church, for the young people in our schools, for their families. Bless our young people and help them to grow up knowing that they are unique and valued for who they are. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Pray for the leaders of the nations, for those at the COP conference, and for the work that they seek to do to save our planet. We pray for the United States of America, for our own government, for all peacemakers and those who seek to bring reconciliation and end of conflict throughout the world. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for those who are sick or suffering. Kate, Sue and Alan, Rebecca, Yvette, Jill, Jean, Marlet, Nicola, Charmaine, Graham, Leah, Ian, Felix, Ellen, Genevieve, Don, Rosemary, Evelyn, Grace, George, Susan, Diana, Sally, Gabriega, Deepo, Jeanette, Johnny, Jackie, and Neville. And in a moment's quiet, we bring any other names of those we know who need God's healing touch this day. us all, who suffer in mind, body, or spirit, and bring the joy of your salvation. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Remember those who have died whose anniversary of death occurs at this time. David, Abiodun, Craig, Humphrey, Robert, Dave, Jane, Kate, Mary, and Vera. We include our loved ones who we love but see no longer, who will die this day. Rest eternal grant unto them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. prayer. A moment's quiet for our own thoughts and prayers this day. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Would you stand for peace? We are the body of Christ in the one Spirit. We were all baptised into one body. Let us then pursue all that makes for peace and build up, build up our common life. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And I know I with you. you. Let us offer one another a sign of peace.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to set before you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God of all Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to set before you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us the cup of salvation. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. The Lord be with you. And the Lord with you. you. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift them to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right, right to give thanks and, and praise. Father, we give you thanks and praise through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your living word, through whom you have created all things, who has sent by you your great goodness to be our Saviour. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he took flesh. As your Son, born of the Blessed Virgin, he lived on earth and went about among us. He opened wide his arms for us upon the cross. He put an end to death by dying for us and revealed the resurrection by rising to new life. So he fulfilled your will and won for you a holy people. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine, may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. The same way after supper he took the cup, and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. And so, Father, according to mine, his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people, and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we in the company of the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints may praise and glorify you forever, through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us pray with confidence, as our Saviour has taught us. Our, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though there were many, 
we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Man of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, Lord I am not worthy, worthy to receive you, but only say the word, word and, and I shall be healed. spiritual communion for those who are watching online. Loving God in union with Christian people throughout the world and across the centuries gathered to make you Christ, I offer you praise and thanksgiving. Even though I'm exiled from tasting the bread of heaven and drinking the cup of life, I pray that you will unite me with all the baptised and with your Son who gave his life for us, Jesus Christ our Lord. Your Son Jesus Christ, proclaim the kingdom and restore the broken to wholeness of life. Look with compassion on the anguish of the world, and by your healing power, make whole both people and nations through our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, Bro, we thank, thank you for feeding us. With the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ, through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice, strengthen us in the power of your Spirit, to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. And so we bring to God now ourselves and those for whom we are praying, for his healing touch on us this day. And I'm going to begin by praying for those who are watching online. Come, Holy Spirit. In the name of God and trusting in his might alone, Receive Christ's healing touch to make you whole. May Christ give you healing of body, mind, and spirit, deliver you from every evil, and give you his peace. Amen. 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 Thank you. 